Good people, man. You're alive. This is Love Man and Teddy tradition. He wanted to be excluded. He got envious of the guitar. So, there you have history behind that. That's the faithful blood man. He likes toilet, toilet paper. Uh, he'll sit there with it on his head for as long as he sits there. Less gravity takes from him. Yeah, him and the guitar finally got, he finally likes the guitar. They had a hard time for a while. They didn't get along a bit. He'd see it and he'd run. What do you think about the guitar now, buddy? Think, oh man, that's a chance to learn to play the electric guitar now. I think I should have put it into that, that thing you want. Yeah, I said thing. He wanted a, just for me to buy him a, a box that goes outside the window of the house where he can go out like, like a screened in porch. So, you know, he almost had me sold on it, and he bit me. So, you know, kind of pulled back, no pun intended. Well, I've got a viewer. Hey, how's it going? This is Bud Man. Yeah, I know. <coughs> so. Uh, he's, you know, he's pulled up in here, and I just laid my, my guitar pick down there. He may have seen him cover it up immediately with his paw. There's liable to be blood drawn if I try to get that guitar pick away from him. So turn on the screen recorders now. Okay, buddy. I want my guitar pick for you. I'm coming for it. See how he is? I, I haven't got anything that belongs to me. All he's got to do is put his paw on it or feet on it. It belongs to him. To me, if he so much as rubs up against something, it belongs to him. Give me my guitar pick. The good thing is, well, no, he's, he's laying on his tail right now, so... That's what I use as a barometer. That tail's wagging, the blood's almost ready to fly. Okay, I got it. Oh, I'll show y'all a trick. I'll show you a trick that Buddy can't do because Buddy, although he is a highly intelligent, you know, he graduated back and soon come laude. Yeah, he did. You can ask Miss Sally about that. But yeah. This is one he can't do because he doesn't have opposing digits. Well, I cleared the whole nest of them out there, my bud. Here is me defying gravity with a piece of plastic. Oh, Superman. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it's a trick you'll learn if you learn to play the electric guitar. It's quite awesome. He needs you a good cat. I named my cat Buddy before I found out Jimi Hendrix had a cat named Buddy. So, Buddy has his own playlist. It's called My Friend Buddy. He's got over 150 videos. He meows on cue throughout. Uh, most of them are around 15 to 30 seconds in length. And he covers everything from drug abuse to mental illness. And people's refusal to hear the words 
mental health without their mind going somewhere else. At that right ball. Yeah. Inaudible. <laughs> but I was hoping I could lull him to sleep and then maybe play some rock and roll. Once he goes to sleep, you know, ain't nothing short of a thunderstorm or a gunshot going to get him up. Yeah, sure. I can play a song. Yeah. The way I look at it, most of it, master puppets. Okay. Okay, right. Cool. Can't play master puppets. Can you play a song? Oh, okay. So you, you tuned in for the guitar in, man. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Let's see. Can't play master puppets yet. I ain't been at this, but small amount of time, but, you on oh Jesus don't let that happen I lose that pick that fell under my trash can okay let's see here yeah man yeah cool cat he is that's blood man hey right, he's hooked he's got his dealer man look at it look at it how he looks at that thing he knows that's a, that's a stuff, man. It's a stuff his dreams made of. <laughs> okay, you want some, boy? You want some? Huh? Here you go. Make a fool yourself. Don't be ashamed. You won't be the first one to see intoxicated in public. <laughs> Didn't have sense enough to even think about it before they did it. And at least you show more foresight than some human beings I've known. He likes to dress up every once in a while. You know, we'll hook him up. This is his uh, shawl of Iran look. This is his Yasser Arafat imitation. And he always likes to do one from one of the classics, you know. You know how, how some people are, they, they got to have a historical perspective about, about the wind, so. And he, he does Gone with the Wind. That's his Miss Charlotte invitation. Frankly, I don't give a damn. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, here's some finger pick, picking. But that's that's where I've been 
stuck for a while. So, you know, trying to get it speeded up to that point. That's what I'm up to. Yes. See, look at me. I'm a sweet kitty. I'm a sweet kitty. I said, I is. He don't like that. She thinks I'm trying to take his place. Yeah, get your son, boy. Don't be ashamed. That's some catnip I poured out in case you're just tuning in. Be ashamed to take the taste in front of anybody. It's like the preacher walked in. <laughs> he won't drink down in front of the preacher. <laughs> See his preacher pulling in the driveway, jerks the Bible out the drawer, puts it on the coffee table. But, you know, that's one of those people who live in fear of the fact that they may have to take a vinyl record country, of country music, put it on a turntable, and turn it backwards in a, uh, in a, a, a endeavor to get back their wife, their children, the house that they lost in the divorce, and even their dog comes back if they spin it backwards long enough. And I know I could have been a little bit shorter in my delivery. But anyway, what do you think, bud? Oh, uh, yeah, he's telepathic. He said they all getting ready to leave, man. You're right, man. They all bugged out on us. They bugged out on us real quick. You, you just must not be as pretty as you thought you was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with having a little pride in your appearance, buddy. Nothing wrong at all. <laughs> they would watch me for maybe three minutes each. On the average, people give me about 25 seconds. Some, I believe, never even give them a chance. They don't look at the description. They they're looking for something that's going to catch their eye and or ear and preferably both. So here's my eye candy right here. This is the eye candy. And that's his candy right there. That nip. I told him to let him watch it. Get hooked on that stuff. Be rough. Intoxication, buddy. I mean, what if they want to hire you over at the firehouse to, to 
to be a mouse. Yeah, he's thinking about that right now. Watch open talk screen, buddy. They ain't gonna wire any intoxicated kitties. Cat on cat neck gonna be rubbing up against their bunch of bitches eggs. H boy. Okay. We'll hook you up, bud bud. Yeah, buddy, he was in a car wreck here a while back. He took Miss Sally off. I didn't I normally hide the car keys, but somehow he found it. Him and Sally took off. So we gotta hook him up with his neck brace. Well, buddy, you did it to yourself, man. Now I'm just doing what the doctor said. Don't blame me. You gotta wear it. You're supposed to wear this. How many hours a day? Tap it out with your paw, bud. I can't remember. But anyway, that's his little neck brace. <laughs> he's wearing that for whiplash. And see, he's, the thing about it is. He's suing my insurance company. And he was driving. <laughs> Some things about life just aren't fair. Okay. Now Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. His fleece was white as snow. Yeah, John Mayer says to sing the words in your mind and then play what you hear and my Mary had a little lamb comes out sounding awful hard <laughs> This animal abuse. <laughs> Borderline, huh? Let's see if we can get you to look like a Klein nun. Yeah, they, 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 they ain't nobody out there old enough to remember the Klein nun. You wouldn't know nothing about her if it wasn't free and run this body. I'll be saying it, sitting there like you, as old as I am, saw it on re, in real time from one of the big threes. That's about the time PBS was cranking up, which made it CBS, NBC, and ABC, along with the addition of PBS, public broadcasting stations, went up everywhere educate rural America because we were in a deficit in intelligence. It was showing up in military examinations of men of GIs as they would test them. So that's the essence of why public broadcasting uh, the uh, portable uh, phones deal where they have uh, uh, a, a deal worked out where people who have uh, you know, substandard living conditions. Ronald Reagan brought a, a deal in where he put a phone in every house in the United States because his constituents didn't like want to go up to Mama's house who refused to move out or move in with them and find Mama dead. So they put in phones into every house in America. And that's why uh, people who are poor and and are on food stamps have cell phones is so that they can keep in touch and not be laying out in a ditch somewhere with 
without having GPS on them where you can locate them. So, there for any naysayers about that, I, I just believe, I believe they ought to leave that program in place. They're getting ready to do away with it at the end of next month. You know, I keep up with my, with my Congress, both their actions and lack thereof. You know, you have to do that. It's nothing like politics to run them away. Well, buddy, we say we call it quits. Hey, I'm sorry you missed us, but uh, read the description. And uh, we're about uh, electric guitar. I've been playing 10 months. We do six broadcasts daily. This is my friend, Buddy. Buddy the Cat. This is Bud Man. Tell them howdy, buddy. That's close. You're going to get to a, a screaming good welcome from him. But uh, we do appreciate you tuning in and uh, letting us into your world. I'm sorry we got to go right now. You take care of yourself and have a good day. If it's Friday where you're at, you have a good Friday. If it's Thursday, well, do the best you can. You got Friday coming.